Hello, and welcome to the English with Colin podcast, a podcast for English language learners. My name's Colin. I'm an English teacher in Tokyo. And if you're looking to improve your English skills and gain more confidence in your ability to communicate in English, you've come to the right place. In these episodes, I'll provide you with short conversations in English that cover a range of topics, from everyday situations to more specialized subjects. These conversations are designed to help you practice your listening skills and pick up new vocabulary and grammar along the way. Regular listening practice is key to improving your English, and I hope this podcast will become a valuable resource for you on your language learning journey. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the conversation. And remember, the more you listen, the more you'll learn. This is episode 25, and today's topic is Tokyo on a budget. Practical ways to save money in Tokyo. Hello, Sue. Hey. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm very well.、Um, so, people around the world will know that、uh, Tokyo can be a very expensive city.、Uh, for many years, it was down as the most expensive city in the world.、Um, but if you're visiting, there are ways that you can save a little bit of money.、Um, So, the first thing to talk about is accommodation. Probably your biggest expense on a trip to Japan is going to be accommodation.、Um, but there are budget options.、Um, business hotels, I think, are a good budget option. There's many chains、uh, of business hotels. What, what do we mean by business hotel? Well, these hotels are for people that are. Traveling because of their businesses. So、mm-hmm. they will be usually very conveniently、uh, near to a station.、Mm-hmm. Um, so that's great.、Um, they don't have all the amenities of a resort, let's say. A resort, right.、Um, they, you know, you have your bed, you have your, yeah, maybe your, for your coffee in the morning.、Um, simple breakfast. Simple breakfast.、Um, so that reduces. It, it, the cost, it makes it、mm-hmm. a bit cheaper. The other thing I would say about these is that the rooms are small. Very small.、Mm-hmm. Um, so it's the bed and just enough space to, for you to stand next to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah.、Um, so these are maybe not good options if you have a lot of luggage. If you have a lot of luggage, you, it, it's going to be tough. Um, to kind of open your bags and kind of、um, go through your, your luggage. Or if you are very tall,、um, not even very tall, if you're, say, you're, you're over six foot,、um, this might be a little bit、um, uncomfortable for you.、Um, but, you know, I think if you're, if you're here traveling, You know, you're not going to spend a lot of time in your hotel room. You're just going to go there to, to sleep. So, for us, the, having a small hotel room is not a big issue. Well, that's the thing, isn't it?、It's, these hotel rooms、um, are designed for you to go and sleep, they're,、mm. not, they're not meant for you to be in. Yeah, you're not there to relax. You're not there to relax.、Uh, if you're in Japan for a long time, you could mix、uh, hotels, you know.、Mm-hmm. To, Sometimes smaller but cheaper, being out, and then you can relax. <laughs> and then treat yourself to a, a more comfortable a t e l Absolutely,、hotel. yeah.、Um, you've also got the, the capsule hotel experience. I've never been. Yes.、Uh-huh. Um, yeah, again, if you've got a, a lot of luggage, it could be difficult. But、um, yeah, the capsule hotel is a kind of classic Japan, Tokyo、um, experience.、Um, What else we got?、Uh, transport. Obviously, the trains within Tokyo、um, are a big thing. If you're traveling across the country, then the rail pass, the Japan rail pass, is, a, is very good value. Especially, I would say, if you're going from, say, Tokyo down to Kyoto or Osaka and then maybe down to Hiroshima or Fukuoka. So, if you're doing 
long distance travel, a few, a few big long train rides on the Shinkansen, then these can be very good value. And you can use them within cities as well on, for example, the Japan Rail um, network. Yes, this is this is important to know that this is different from the metro. Lines. Yeah, the metro, the, the kind of underground lines are different, so they they will not be covered by um, the Japan Rail Pass. But yeah, good value if you're traveling a long way. Uh, one tip I would say is if you use Google Maps, um, you can see the price of the tickets, mm. and maybe you can see how much it would be just for those tickets and then compare it to the rail pass. Mm -hmm. And then you can see if it's for you or not. Yeah, indeed. Um, eating out, eating out can get very expensive, but I think there's a lot of very inexpensive places to eat. For example, ramen, um, some incredibly good ramen for very good uh, prices. Lots of little curry shops, uh, Japanese style curry. So not kind of what we would call Indian style curry, but Japanese style curry. And another type of restaurant to look out for is the rice bowl kind of restaurant, the, the Don Donburi restaurant. So places like Matsuya or Yoshinoya. These are places where you can get very inexpensive meals um that are very filling and delicious and good value mm -hmm. um the rice bowls are a great meal you have your rice you have your meat on top yeah. um a little bit of water and they're quick they're quick and easy and they're everywhere if you can just sort these machines which they all have um pictures the machines are better now a lot of the machines now are digital um, so that means that very often they'll have an English language button. In the past, it was more like a physical button, yeah. um, traditional machine. So you kind of had to uh, hope for the best if you couldn't read the, the Japanese. But um, no, it's, it's much more easy to access now. So yeah, get used to uh, using those and you can save a lot of money. You get your ticket, you go to the counter, you sit down, you hand in your ticket and your food will come and it's a, it's a, it's an easy interaction i would say yeah yeah you don't need to to say anything good price good food uh easy good, interactions good times good times right um convenience stores yeah i don't think we need to say too much about the convenience stores 711 family mart um lawson's good, lawson's good variety of uh, of foods um, and sometimes can be quite healthy. Um, you can get really nice soups now. Okay. Yeah, I really like those soups. There you go. Um, you can get, and there's, they usually will um, warm uh, some food for you. Right. Yeah. Some. So they'll either have a microwave behind the counter and they'll heat it for you, or there'll be a space where you can um, heat it yourself in, in a microwave. But there's a lot. The um, variety of healthy food that, mm. you know, uh, it, it would be all right. It's not, we're not saying go to the kombini and just eat donuts and... No, kombi, you said kombini. <laughs> convenience store. Con yes, convenience store in Japan gets uh, sort of shortened to kombini. Kombini with a B, so not a, a V, but a B. Um, and the last thing to say about food uh, is that lunchtime prices lunches are usually very good value um not you're not always going to get as big a meal as you would for for dinner but the prices are very uh, affordable so if you're looking for kind of one big meal in the day um then lunch could be a, a good way to do it also it, it will allow you to try restaurants that seem a little bit more expensive Mm. But not for the full price. Mm -hmm. Like that's a little hack. Right. You know, don't go for the dinner, go for the lunch yeah. and it will be a better price and you'll get enough delicious food. We did that in Kobe. We did that in Kobe, yeah. Uh, we wanted to try, we were in Kobe, we wanted to try Kobe beef 
And we went to a place, what was it called? Stekilando. Stekilando, uh, which is, in English is a terrible name. I would never go to a restaurant in the UK that was called Stakeland. No. Um, but this is a very good restaurant. It's a high, sort of fine dining <laughs> sort of restaurant. And um, we I think we, we tried to arrive early. I think we got there about 11 o'clock or something. But we were the last people allowed in for lunch. Yeah. Um, we thought we were going to be really early. Like 11 o'clock for lunch is, our, is an early lunch, but we were the last people who got in. Uh, and it was incredible. It was delicious. And it was a good price for the kind of meat we got. Yeah. It was great pricing. Yeah. Yeah. It would have been m much, much more expensive to go there for dinner. Absolutely. Um, so you pay a, a premium price for uh, evening meals. Um, sightseeing. There's a lot of free or cheap things to do. Lots of parks and, and uh, gardens, um, temples and shrines that you can visit. Um, but I think if the weather's good, kind of walking around, kind of exploring the, the city um, is a great way to spend your time. Yeah, but... Because it's safe, it's um, you can get lost and it's going to be fine. It's, you don't yeah. need to worry to about staying within the touristy areas. Mm. Uh, getting lost is okay. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Um, you might discover a very niche shop or a very, you know, niche cafe uh, somewhere. I think you're also you're more likely to have an interesting interaction with people kind of, you know, if you're walking around and you're kind of just interested, um, people can be quite kind. People can be quite friendly. Yes. Um, and yeah, just kind of be open to, you know, walk around, explore, uh, as you said, just kind of get lost. You know, you don't need to be, you don't need to be doing an activity at every moment of the day. Yeah. You know, um, just, it, experience the place you don't have to pay for kind of entertainment every minute of the day um so that i think can give you a very uh, nice and uh, memorable experience uh museums museums can be expensive but they there are the option of kind of combination tickets um so you might pay you know 2,000, 3,000 yen for a ticket that will get you access to multiple places, mm -hmm. galleries, museums. Um, so if you, and sometimes they can be used on multiple days, so you don't need to use them all on the same day. Um, so yeah, look into that. If you're looking to go to museums, say in Ueno, um, these kind of multi-day uh, or multi attraction or multi-museum uh, tickets. And there's can be good always value. good exhibitions. We've seen some incredible Fantastic. exhibits. Yeah. yeah. Um, what else we got? Uh, okay, last couple of things. Shopping. Um, obviously, you will want to buy some souvenirs uh, on your trip. Um, there, it, you can get anything you want. <laughs> In, in Japan, um, I think one area that I've um, been recommended is Shimo Kitazawa uh, for kind of budget, budget friendly shopping. Or there's an area, uh, a street called Kapabashi, mm -hmm. um, which you can find quite unique little um, Japanese items. Um, yeah. yeah, Shimo Kitazawa is trendy, but trendy accessible. Mm hmm. Uh, so I think it's very much worth mm -hmm. going there, and you would have you you'll find secondhand things or new or you know yeah. very local. Um, so that's very good. Again, a place to explore. A place to um, just get see what you can lost. find. Yeah. What about Don Quixote? This is unique shop in Japan. Um, they are usually several floors. They're mm. massive. 
and they're so crowded like they're they're not they're crowded with people but also crowded with items yes like they're very very tight they are in in my mind they're also like dark yeah but it's like aladdin's cave yes and is that is that a thing I, aladdin's cave well yeah. you can get out with anything you want yeah um, it's a shop that has anything and everything. Yeah, I mean, uh, you could the the one that's close to us. You could go in there and you could buy a bottle of shampoo, uh, a bottle of Dom Perignon champagne, and a puppy. Yeah, that those are, you could easily just go and buy those three items, check out at the same time. Um, so yeah, they sell anything and everything. Um, yeah, they. They can be a little bit of a headache because it's there's just so much in them. I don't know how you're supposed to find. <laughs> um, no, you can't. You can't. You can't go in there and quickly grab some. Well, I can't anyway. I I don't know my way around. No. Um, but yeah, something to something to to try when you're here. Um, and yeah, another thing for for souvenirs is the. 100 yen shops. Yes. You um, can get most of the things in there. Some some might be a little bit more expensive, but very few of them. But everything should be 100 yen. Yeah, some items will be a little bit more, um, but it, largely they are 100 yen. Um, yeah, and great for little souvenirs if you just need something to, to give to to somebody at home as a, as a little gift. They Get it in the 100 yen shop, save yourself the money. Beautiful little plates, little, but I mean little, little plates yeah. with different shapes, very Japanese. Um, they also have things for the kitchen that are very unique and very useful. Yeah, the kind of, the sort of stereotypical, weird kind of Japanese inventions that you don't see in other other places, yeah. So you find weird and wonderful things uh, in the 100 yen shop. And very useful. Yeah, they can be. They can be. Um, so, yeah. Um, and, yeah, if you're looking for something a little bit more fancy than that, then um, try to buy it before you get to the airport on your way home. Because the airport is a place where you can buy souvenirs, but you will be paying an extra premium because you're you're buying it in the airport, so just make sure you get all your souvenir shopping done while you're in Tokyo before you actually leave uh, for the airport. So yeah, it is possible to come to Japan and travel and enjoy the place on a bit of a budget. And that's a wrap for today's episode of the English with Colin podcast. I hope you enjoyed listening to the conversation and found it helpful in your language learning journey. Remember, the key to mastering a language is regular practice. So make sure you listen to our podcast regularly and keep honing your listening skills. We appreciate your support and feedback. So if you have any comments, questions or suggestions for future topics, please don't hesitate to get in touch with us. You can find our contact information in the show notes. Thank you for listening. And I look forward to joining you again next time for another conversation in English. Until then, keep practicing and take care.